After a few minutes of operation, the furnace reaches uh, max heat, and then it's just waiting for the reaction to start. Down here where the receiver is buried, I covered the uh, receiver jar with a lid that's notched out to fit the pipe. If you just watch around this rim, when you start seeing smoke come out, that means the reaction is proceeding. Keep a constant watch on your fuel level in your furnace. <clears throat> if it starts to get too low, it'll still be hot in there, but not hot enough to boil the phosphorus out of the melt. Keep in mind that whatever you do to fuel your furnace, you want to be able to get fresh fuel into it without opening it, or you'll lose a ton of heat. Every time you open your furnace, it's going to lose several hundred degrees. Probably not good for what you're trying to do here. So, cut your blower off, fuel it up, and uh, as far as operation of the blower, you probably don't want to run it full time because that will cool your reactor pipe. It's best to cycle it on and off. about 10 minutes into the burn and I can already hear the collector bubbling but it's not uh, releasing any smoke yet so it's probably just pushing atmosphere out of the reactor It's a good idea if your uh, blower is overkill like the one I'm using to cycle it on and off so that you don't uh, overfeed the fire. you can start to see uh, the phosphorus pentoxide and phosphorus vapor being released from the collector unit. It's uh, unusual to produce any phosphine if your reactants are properly dry, but you'll probably get a little here and there, so don't be alarmed if uh, you see fire come from the collector. It's not that unusual. Just stay well back and uh, try to stay upwind from it so you don't inhale deadly fumes. Whew, I can smell that phosphorus in the vapors. It's uh, The uh, reaction is proceeding as expected and uh, after this point once you know it's going uh, you just keep the fire hot for another hour or so to make sure you've boiled all your product out of the melt. 
and then uh, you can uh, pretty much let the fire choke itself out and dig out your collector. Also, I don't know if you're able to hear the bubbling in the collector, but uh, if you're doing this reaction on your own, when you shut your blower down and calm the fire down, you can actually hear the bubbling coming inside the collector. That's another indicator that uh, it's doing what you want.